Hey guys, it's EJ, and today we're going to look at the basics of units intelligence in Blockpad. So first, I just have a few examples showing what units in Blockpad can do. So we've got conversions here. We've got unit tracking where it keeps unit multiplication. There's unit tracking here that handles cancellations, and it also handles auto conversions in basic arithmetic. So with this, um, with the computer handling the units tracking for you, it helps to make your calculations easier to understand and easier to create. And it's also easier to catch mistakes as they happen, partially because everything's labeled and just easier to read. But also, if you have a calculation error somewhere, Blockpad units will catch, hey, this doesn't work together as a unit. There might be something you need to fix, and then you can go in and fix it. So with that, let's take a look at the basics. So first is unit assignment, putting a unit on a number. So we open up an equation by pressing the equal sign. We type a number, and then if we start typing letters, we're going to get a dropdown of all of the different built-in units in Blockpad. So to assign a unit, we're just going to type a number and then that unit right after it, but it's going to have to match the abbreviation that Blockpad has stored. That's why we got the dropdown. In this case, I'm just going to say A equals five feet. This also works inside of equations and not just um, for when you're assigning a variable. So I could say B equals four meters plus 10 feet plus 100 centimeters, and I'll get my answer. Next, to, def to assign what we call compound units, we're going to use basic math operators. So for example, I might say volume equals 10 meters cubed using the exponent operator there. Or I might say rate equals 10 feet cubed per minute using division there, or torque equals five kilonewton times meter. And just as a quick aside here, you can actually change your math layout property to make unit multiplication show with a different operator, in this case, a dot. So next, I'll talk about assigning combination units. And by that, we mean stuff like feet inches, or hour minute seconds, or degree minute seconds. What that looks like is we'll type in the number, the first part of the combination unit, the next number, and the next part. So here, five feet, eight inches. I'll say C equals five feet, eight inches. And I can add this together with other units, and it'll convert it for me and add it together. This also works for stuff like multiplication. It'll convert it just to regular feet and then give you your answer in feet squared. So like I said, this also we also have five hour, 10 minutes, or you could say angle equals 30 degree, 40 minutes, 10 second. And we can, for example, take the sine of that angle and it will work. So that's assigning the units and doing the actual unit arithmetic is pretty basic. So for example, if I divide volume by rate, I'm going to get my result in minutes. It's pretty intuitive if you're familiar with engineering calculations. So next we're gonna take a look at converting. To use, to convert a value, we use the keyword to, to and then what we want to convert it to so here i might say millimeters or down here if i want to convert this i can convert it to minutes one useful thing to know about converting is that sometimes blockpad won't auto cancel things like you might expect so a thousand psi times 10 inches gives a result in PSI inches, where you might rather see it in pounds per inch. 
to show what we want, we can just convert it to pound per inch. And then we'll get our result like that. Another example, well, first, another good thing to know about conversion is that when you convert a block pad value, that's going to carry through to other calculations. So for example, if I convert this to meters, over here, my results are now in meters and meters squared instead of what it was before. If you want to see that in something else, we can just convert that value too. So one example how that might make a difference where you wouldn't expect is if you say two gallons here, now Blockpad didn't auto cancel feet cubed and gallons. But to fix that, we can just convert this value to what we want to see. We could even convert it to something like our minute seconds. And that'll give us our answer. So that's really the basics, but we're also going to take a look at putting units into Blockpad spreadsheets. So let's put in a table is like a mini spreadsheet native to Blockpad. Because it's native to Blockpad, units work. To type in just a regular number value with a unit, we don't need to press the equal sign here. We can just type in the number and then the unit with it. And now Blockpad sees that, oh, probably he wants these answers in PSI as well. I'm going to keep going down. So again, I don't press the equal sign, I just press the number, and then the unit I wanna see. And then Blockpad will help you for further rows. If I do wanna calculate something, I'll press the equal sign, and now Blockpad units tracking works just like it does everywhere else in Blockpad. So I'll get the inches squared, and if I multiply, PSI value times an inches squared value, I'll get a pounds force result. Actual spreadsheets are going to be just the same. You type in the number and then the unit you want to see. And if you press the equal sign, you can do your calculations. So that's it for today. I'm also going to include a link to the units page down in the description, and that's gonna cover everything you need to know about Blockpad units, including custom units, handling empirical equations, temperature difference units, just about everything you'll need. So with that, let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you.